Hello friends, today in this video we will discuss another use case on interactive forms. In this use case we will be demonstrating how to extract web table data from a website and then write the captured data into the interactive form table element. So I request you to watch this video till the end so that you don't miss out on any of the steps that we will be covering during the entire video. So without any further delay, let's start our discussion for today. We will first create an interactive form. So first of all, click on create new and then click on form button and then give the name of the form that is extract web data and then click on create and edit. Once we click on create and edit, a form title or the form design will be opened in the new window. So drag and drop the table command since we need to extract the table data from the website that is from this NSC website. And once we extract or capture the table data, then we will write that table data into this table form element. So in the element in the table properties, we will keep the element label as table and the rows before scrolling, you can keep it by default to four and the number of columns that you want. So by default, there are four columns. If you want, you can add more columns as well. So after making these changes according to your requirement, then click on save button. So that so after clicking on save, click the close button since our form has been created. Now we will create a task board where we will extract the table data from the NSE website and then write that extracted table data into the table form element in the interactive form. So now let's create a task board. Click on create new and then click on board. Give the name of the task board that is extract data. And then click on create and edit. Once you click on create and edit, a blank task board will be opened. So now first of all, drag and drop the inter, uh, display L, display command under the interactive form and then click on create variable and give the name of the variable that is extract underscore data and in the default value click on browse and select the form that we have just created that is extract web data and then click on confirm. Once we click on confirm, then click on create and select. And check the always display form window in front checkbox. And then click on save. Now under the browser command, drag and drop the launch website command. and give the URL of the website from which we want to extract the table data. And in the browser tab, select the Internet Explorer and then click on Save. Now use the Recorder command to extract the table data from the website. Click on Application tab and then click on Refresh Windows which will refresh all the open windows present and select NSE as the website since we want to extract the table from this NSE website. Then click on capture object and keep the highlighter on the symbol header and then click on capture until you see the red highlighter. Once you click on this, the table will be captured. Now the table has been captured. Scroll down to the bottom and in the action 
property or click on get table and in the assign output to variable click on create variable and create a variable that is v table and then click on create and select and then click on save now we will use the interactive form set command to set the extracted table value into the table form element so select the form name which we have already created that is extract underscore data and in the form element select the table element and in the set value type entire table is by default selected so keep it as it is in the input value select the variable tab and give the variable name of vari table data type which we have created that is v table and then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will use the display command again under the interactive form so drag and drop the display command and select the form name that is extract underscore data and check the always display form window in front checkbox and then click on save this command will basically is used to display the form and now we will use the pause command under the taskbot command this command will basically pause the currently processing task and now we will click on save button now we will run the bot as you can see that the table data from NSC website has been extracted and has been written to the table form element of the interactive form which we created. So this is how we can extract the table data from any source and can be written to the interactive form table element. Now we will click on the resume button. So the form will be closed automatically and the window from which we extracted the table has been closed also. Now if we want to extract the data that we extracted from the website to a table form element of interactive form and we want to write that data into an excel file. So first of all drag and drop the get command of interactive form. and select the form name which we created that is extract underscore data in the form element select the table element and in select value either you can select the table or you can select the row so I am selecting table so we will create a variable of type table that is v table 1 and click on create and select and then click on save now we will use the excel advanced command and in that we will use the open command and we will select the desktop file to browse the file from the desired location in which we want to write the data so I am selecting sample data then click on open after selecting the file and then click on save now use the set cell command to write the data into the excel file so I am using the specific cell that is A1 and the cell value that we will give is v table 1 then click on yes insert and then click on save before using the set cell command we will use for each row in table loop to loop through all the records in the table so 
in the loop type in the iterator field we will use for each row in table and in the table variable we will select v table 1 which we have already created and we will assign the row of the table to a v record variable which we have already created now after using the for each row in table we will need to convert the string we will convert the number variable to a string variable so we have created a v count number variable and assigned it with a value of 1 and we will convert this number to string variable that is vcnt which we have created already now we will use the set cell command in the first column we will need to store the first column of the table that we extracted from the website so since there were four columns uh, in the extracted table so we will use a b c and d to write the data in the excel file in the first column that is a1 we will uh, use we will set the value to v record 0 and similarly in b second column we will write the value as v record 1 and v record 2 and v record 3 in c and d column after setting the value we will increment the number variable by 1 to loop through all the rows in the table now we will run the program as you can see the table has been extracted from the website and the extracted table has been written to the form table element that we created while designing the form now we will resume the bot and the extracted table element that is written to the form element will be written to the excel element to the excel file that we extracted so this is the extracted data that has been written from the table form element to an excel file so this is how you can extract the data or the table data from the website and write to a table form element in the interactive forms and then from interactive forms we can get the table and write to an excel file. So the bot has run successfully. So in today's video, we discussed how we can extract the data from the website and write that extracted table data to interactive form table element. If you have any queries, then do please feel free to reach out to me with your queries and I will be more than happy to respond to your queries. So please watch, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any of the latest topics that I will be posting in the future. Thank you all and have a great day.